Ambrose Bierce, 1842 to 1914. Ambrose Gannett Bierce was born in Megas County, Ohio. He was the tenth of the thirteen children. After the family moved to Indiana, Ambrose decided to spend a term at a military school in Kentucky. He was lucky enough to be accepted in the Union Army during the Civil War. Bierce saw action in the scheme of the bloodiest battles of the war, including Shiloh, Chickamauga, Chukamaga, and the Atlanta Campaign. In 1864 at Kinsaw Mountain, he was struck in the temple by a bullet that miraculously lodged between the skin without penetrating the skull. After the Civil War, Bierce was known as the most consistently pessimistic. He was called Bitter Bierce by many. His stories merged the hallucinatory and the paran paranormal with everyday, even as attempting to catch the intensity of extreme human experience. Bierce turns to, to extraordinary observes a condemned man preparing to, to die from a child who has stumbled into the horrors of combat to tell stories of the Civil War stripped out of their usual partition of glory and nobility. After the war, he worked as a journalist and short story writer, capturing his war experiences in vivid details. In 1913, he went to Mexico to be a part of the revolution led by Pancho Villa, but then later disappeared in 1914. And now we will show you a story by Ambrose Bierce called An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge talks about a man named Peyton Farquhar. He dies beneath the Owl Creek Bridge. He was captured and hung for trying to destroy the bridge so that the Union Army could not use it. This story took place during the Civil War. Once Peyton was hung by a noose around his neck, he dreamed that he escaped the noose, but then Peyton Farquhar fell straight down through the bridge, breaking his neck and losing consciousness. So I thought this story was really interesting, just again, because of how he incorporated death in two different parts into one scene, which was kind of cool. My opinion about the short story is that it is really dark because I have never heard a short story when a man gets hung by a noose. And what got me thinking is that why would the author write about a short story that a man dies in the end? Could it be that he saw somebody die that way? Or perhaps he could be mental. You never know.